Good morning carpers and welcome back. Unfortunately, this vlog should have been part three of my winter campaign down at Coken Farm. As you all know, we've had some severe, severe icy conditions and uh, literally the lake was uh, shut for about a week. Literally had a lid on it the whole time. Um, a damn shame to be honest, because that peg 31 that I was on for three days, sorry, four nights, was uh, one of the good pegs in the winter. But hey ho, uh, we are back down there in three weeks time. Uh, we're back on peg 32 and it's going to be our last session. It's going to be the final session of our winter campaign. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can crack that code and get a biggie out. We're down there for five days, five nights this time. But anyway guys, back down at the Silver End. Um, just had a, literally a couple of laps of the lake because I always wanted to fish different pegs. But obviously you've got to follow the fish and fish are always in lumpies all around that area. Um, it's absolutely crazy. Let me change hands. Here it's absolutely crazy. I keep wanting to fish different pegs, but it's, it's just not happening because you've got to, wherever the fish are, you've got to fish. But I've got the whole lake to myself. There is literally not one person down here. But anyway, I'm going to get some stuff out of the car. I'll see you on the bank. Well, carpers, the gear's round. As you can see, I'm in lumpies. I'm just gonna uh, give it another half hour, 45 minutes, see if I can see any other movement. I've seen some out, literally where I, well, where I always fish to, to be honest. But as you can see, the sun's out. It's an absolutely glorious day. Total different from what it was, what it was last week. I'm going to go and have a little mooch about, see what I can see. Well, I just had a walk around guys, because um, I quite like, if you can see that, that little overhanging tree, I quite like the look of that. But um, I see literally another fish bosh out on the spot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, fish two on the spot, literally like a rod length apart, and spot a little bit of bait out. Um, same spot mix as before, but fresh. Um, got, also got some 10 mil live system in there as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one out on a Ronnie rig with a pink pop-up, Northern Special pop-up, and the other one's going to go out on the uh, Snowman, as um, I've previously caught on before. Um, I have got um, some little willies <laughs> from um, uh, Willy Worms, because I actually bought them for Coke and Farm. Uh, yeah, because a few guys that are on there, Coke and Farm, we're catching on the old worms. It's not allowed maggots or nothing. So obviously I didn't go down there and use them, so I'm going to use them this time. Um, yeah, they're all still alive and kicking and well. So yeah, probably going to stick a little pink Northern Special pop-up on with a couple of, couple of little willies on the end. <laughs> um, well, see what happens, eh, guys? All right, I'm going to get this uh, bivvy set up. I've got the old Tempest. Yeah, I think last time I was here I was talking about my SLX and I was getting a Tempest. Now I've got one guys, so I'm going to set this up. I've not set it up yet, uh, but I'm sure it's quite easy because they are quite easy to set up and that's what I wanted it for. So yes guys, I'm going to get that set up and I'll see you soon. There we go guys, the old Tempest 100 is all set up. That weren't too sad. Actually, when I first set it up, I thought it was a lot smaller than it, you know, than it seemed. And I thought, oh no, I've made a boo-boo here, yeah, I should have got the 150, but... Actually, it's, it's not too bad, you know. And that bed's right at the back, and it's still got... Look at that, look. It's still got quite a bit of room. Look how dark it is. Mate, this is spot on. This is exactly what I wanted. And it's perfect for little short sessions, even 48 hours. And then when I do longer sessions... I've got the old uh, social cap as well, so you know that'll probably come out to about here and it'll give me a nice little cooking area. You know, I'll probably get like the little infill panel so I can use that as like my, my bedroom as such. But yeah, I'm well happy with that. Might do a little review on it uh, when the weather gets a bit better and I get a bit of room somewhere. Put the old social cap on. Oh, sorry, I've got the cups. But yeah, it's uh, that's spot on. Didn't take long at all to set up. So we'll get the rods done now. And let's catch a fish. Literally got two months left on here. And, uh, but we'll talk about that later. Right, see you later guys, bye. 
Yes Carpers, that is the rods out on the spot. Got two on the spot, about a rod length apart from each other. Put about four midi spoms of bait on each rod. One has gone out on a Ronnie rig with a Northern special pop-up pink. And the other one has gone out on a little German rig uh, with a live system uh, bottom bait with a little tiny 8mm mini CC more pop-up in. Uh, drilled it out a little bit and then just popped one in there. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to have one. I'm going to sit back, relax, open a beer. Um, it's nearly dark o'clock because I've got here quite late and I'm uh, literally just going to watch the water. Hopefully, I'll see you tonight with a fish. If not, I'll see you in the morning for a brew. Well, had a run, guys. And uh, what a slab that is. Not sure how big it is, I'm not going to weigh it, but that is huge. Good morning carpers, and what a really eventful night last night, uh, but not for the right reasons. Uh, first we had a big slab of a bream, um, then we got woken up again, probably about 2, 3am, another bream, and then we got woken up again with a coot, so we've had two breams and a coot. Come on the carp, where are the carp? But on another note guys, this uh, new bivvy, the old Dark Tempest, um, actually slept in because I was awake most of the night because I'm on night shift mode from work anyway. I actually slept in, it's like 10 o'clock now. Because it's so dark in here, it, when it got light I didn't, didn't realise, you know what I mean? It's absolutely lovely. But yes guys, we're going to have a little change of tactics today. <sighs> Did uh, put some good lot of bait in yesterday when I got here I obviously put as I said before put a load of bait in and then just as it got dark I put another three or four spoms over each spot and then uh, about 1am uh, when I had that first bream um, put another load of bait in so that's bringing the bream in but it's not bringing the carp in anyway I'm gonna get the kettle on have something to eat I'll catch up with you in a bit well carpers, just had a little lead about to the left um, where Luke um, sort of had that fish last time, that sort of area. I found a nice little clean spot so I've just put put a few spoms of bait out on there. I'm um, going to let that, let that brew for a, an hour or so before I put a rod on it. Uh, just topped up this this uh, this right hand rod to that bush over there. Uh, Twelve and a half wraps, lovely great, clean gravel spot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably going to have a little mix up probably going to just put a live system wafter out on um, on that right hand rod because it seems to be attracting the bream now I'm getting the, getting the pink topper on there so yeah just a, probably a whittled down live system wafter uh, I'm not sure about that left hand rod probably going to persevere with the uh, northern special pink um, if I get another bream I'll probably change the colour um, put something else on there but we will see we're going to play it by ear yeah still no one else on the bank don't know if you can see over there got a fly fisherman he's fishing for the pike but yeah guys right what do I do fishing wise this year I'm really undecided I'm usually by this time I've got a you know I've, I've got a plan but I just don't know what to do um I was going to come off of here, but then you know, that, that a few 30s have been out recently, so I might stay on here. I, I, I'm looking for your comments, guys. Leave a comment down below. I'm tempted to join Chumpsford Angling Club, to join Wixmere, because there's some lovely fish in there. Um, I know it gets busy, and apparently what I've heard is a bit clicky, but I'll keep myself to myself anyway. Um, there's, some, there's a few 40s in there and a hell of a lot of 30s, some lovely stunning fish. Um, my other choice is going back on the carp preserve, because I've had a couple of people ask ask me to get re, you know, redo my ticket and get back on there. Um, there's some stunning fish in there. Um, I think if I went back there now, knowing what I know now, I'd probably have a few fish out. Because um, going back to... Uh, watching a few of my videos and thinking about it, I, I was probably going about it all wrong. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go about it a lot differently, and I'd probably 
you know, I, I would get a few fish out. I mean, I, I know for a fact I would. Uh, my other choice is going on Caps Water because they have got a variety of uh, lakes on there. Um, there's also the Snake Pit, which is part of Caps. Um, I did fish that years ago, but I was a noddy, admit, I admit it. Um, I'm a bit more clued up now. Um, that is literally right on my doorstep, that lake. Um, I could go there, do some pre-baiting, look at the water all the time. Um, I think there's a, there's a scrape of 40 in there called the Stompers Linear. I'd love to catch that. Um, also on the Caps complex, you've got Brakes Pit. Uh, there's a few nice fish in there, plus a 40. You've got Bovingtons, there's a 40 in there and some nice fish. And you've also got Layer Pits, the iconic Layer Pits. I mean, there's two iconic lakes there that Caps have got. You've got the Snake Pit, and you've also got obviously layer pits which is day only so that is why I'm tempted to go on caps because there is a variety of waters um, there's, there's a few other decent waters as well um, yeah not really sure oh, and the other the syndicate that I was thinking about joining is Molden Pool um, is yeah, there's a few, couple of 40s in there and a lot of 30s uh, admittedly that's like 500 quid for the year um, so if I joined that I'd probably probably spend most of my vlogs on there to be honest guys but let me know what you think guys in the comments below what would you like to see should we, should we do a syndicate fish with some big fish should we go on caps where we can fish the snake pit layer pits breaks pit and various other um, waters on there that have got some good fish in um, or do we stay on here and do some day tickets as well? I mean, I will be doing day tickets as well because I, I, um, I love travelling around. Um, do we go on Chelmsford? Uh, Fish Wicks Mere? I honestly do not know. I need your help, guys. Leave a comment down below. <sighs> right, tight lines all. I'll see you in a bit. CS Carpers, this is the, uh, the rig that I'm putting out on that left hand rod that's done me two bream already. Just a box standard uh, Ronnie rig with a little pink Northern Special pop up. Come on the curb! Another stunning day, guys. The sun is out and it's beaming. It's lovely and warm. It wasn't even like that. It wasn't even cold last night. Even the old horse is loving it. Look. Ah, still no fish and still no shows unfortunately uh, just about to spawn some more bait out so I want to keep it going in regularly just a couple of spawns on each each you know every few hours but guys it's something that I've always wanted to do because I've seen it on YouTube before um, I've always wanted to do a week away basically doing like a little little YouTube tour uh, whether it be two three four venues but I've just secured 10 days away with the missus. She's let me get away for 10 days on a on a, a YouTube tour. Something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I've got two places booked, so they're definitely 100% locked in. Um, and that is coming in April time, the beginning of April. I've just literally just got to secure the third place. Um, the first place we're going to is a secret. <laughs> But we're doing three days, and that is with the Dorset Carper. He's joining me for that one. And then I'm doing four days on somewhere else. Um, that is by myself. And then, let me move, change arms. And then the third place is again with the Dorset Carper. And that will be a secret. But that is coming in at the beginning of April, guys. Um, absolutely blown away. I've always wanted to do a little trip been on the road for like 10 days um, a couple of these places have got showers so I'm not going to be minging it for like 10 days yes guys I'm absolutely buzzing for that so don't forget to hit that like button hit that bell icon and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it hopefully it's going to be a wicked journey I'm going to catch some bangers and you can come along for the ride see you soon
another glorious evening. The sun's just about to go down. Hopefully tonight we're gonna to have a cup. No bream, please. Do not want no bream. If I'm gonna have a disrupted night, then I want it to be a cup. Because as soon as them bream stopped, I had an absolutely amazing sleep in this. Because it was so dark, it was it was absolutely lovely. Literally cannot wait to use this in the uh, in the summer. You know, when it gets starts getting light at like three or three in the morning, that's when I usually wake up and usually wake quite early because of that. And another thing, can't wait to get down to Coking Farm to finish our winter campaign and uh, get the social cap on. See what it's like with the old social cap. So I reckon it's, uh, I reckon it's quite good with that on. At least you can zip away your uh, zip away your bedroom department and just uh, yeah cozy up in the uh, watch the water and that in your in your social cap. But anyway, I'm gonna watch the water. I just spotted some more bait out, guys. I'm gonna leave it another couple of two or three hours. I'm gonna spot some more out, and then if I'm awake during the night, then I might as well spot some more out then. But I've not seen any fish whatsoever. Um, another reason I've got this bivy is because I can pack it away nice and quickly, get it on the barrel and move if I have to. But I've not seen any fish whatsoever to be able to move. Um, the only fish that I've seen is when I turned up was in, in this peg out in front of me. Um, I think I heard one during the night, but I'm not 100%. Oh, well, anyway, guys, see you in a bit. Well guys, I've literally changed tactics and I've got another bream. Look at that, look. it's literally not doing anything. It's still got the lead on the floor. It's in about a foot of water. I just want you to see what this bream does in the water with actually the lead on the floor. And it's just not doing anything. Well, I'm going to get this unhooked and uh, get this rod back out. Well, carpers, after that bream, I've not weighed this yet, but that looks like a nice chunk. That is definitely a 30. Yeah, boy! Well, carpers, this is my prize. I think this fish might be called Majestic. Absolutely stunning fish. 32 pound. Have a winter 30. Let's get this baby up. That guy's absolute lump. Pretty sure it's majestic. I'm going to look through the uh, all the pictures and everything. Um, absolutely buzz with this. 32 pounds. I'll show you the other side. Just wish I had someone here to take some pictures for me. But never mind. There we go guys, the other side. Well, carpers, after having them free bream and that coat, I thought that obsession was doomed. I thought that was all we was going to catch, but we had that 32 pounder, didn't we? And it is called Majestic. Um, we searched it up. Yeah, Majestic, one of the 18 that I haven't had before. Uh, recasted that back out. A uh, couple of hours later, the other rod's gone off. This fish actually felt a lot bigger. Um, it was taking line, rod was bending over, it put up more of a fight. Uh, but unluckily it's only 23 pound, but what a stunning fish it is. Let's, let's get it out and show you. It's a bit lively. But yes, two fish. Absolutely buzzed. 
Come on then, have a little wiggle. You're camera shy, are you, mate? Right. Still wiggling. There we go, guys. If it's going to wiggle, just let it fall into your forearm. Do what it's got to do. And it can't go anywhere. Oh, right. Come on then. Get your wiggles out of the way. There you go, guys. £23 silver end mirror. This camera's shy, isn't it? There we go. Show you the other side. There we go, Carl. There's the other side, a 23 pound now. Not sure if it's got a name, but it's got a couple of distinctive scars down its side. I'm going to get this back, get that rod back out. I'll see you soon. Good morning, carpers. Another eventful night last night, and for good reasons this time. As you'll know, we had Majestic at £32. Uh, we did have another bream, and then we had that £23-pounder. Um, 32, 23, flip the numbers around. Quite weird, isn't it? But yeah, two fish to add to our, our collection of here. Um, absolutely buzzing with that. Um, I can't talk about that last fish. We got midnight, one o'clock, something like that. I know I didn't go to sleep till about two, three o'clock, but uh, yeah, slept in again. It's now about half past nine. Uh, um, keep sleeping in in this bivvy because it's so dark, you don't register what sort of time it is. But yes, guys, we're gonna have a slow pack down, so we'll get home to the kids. Uh, Mrs. G Mrs. is going out for the um, for the day for a Hindu, so I've got to get back for the kids. Um, yeah, everything is soaked, so we're gonna have to dry it out when we get home, I think. But yeah, grab a little slow pack down and uh, I'll see you soon guys. <sighs> Nearly packed down now carpers. Literally just the rods to go. Uh, got the old waist sling drying out, net drying out there and the old mat drying out there. But yeah, what a session. Um, I didn't think it was actually going to go like this. I thought it was, I was just literally just going to do a little quick video, you know, just to keep the uh, channel, you know, the channel algorithm going. But uh, yeah, what do we end up with? Three bream, two carp, one of them being the A team, and a coot. Bloody coot. But yes, guys, absolutely buzzing with this session. Uh, first fish of the year was a 32 pounder, uh, followed up by a 23. So we're in good steed. Hopefully we can bag a few more of the A team before my ticket runs out on here or before I decide what I'm doing. Remember guys, leave a comment down below. I'll give you a little list of things that was on my radar. Um, hit me up with some comments. Or if you know of any other places that uh, you know got, got availability, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Wow, that tempest. That was lovely. Actually slept in again today. Uh, half nine. Um, need to stop doing that. I know I said I wanted a dark bivy because I didn't want to wake up early, but bloody hell, I'm waking up later now. <laughs> I suppose I need to start setting an alarm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wait for these to dry a little bit more. Get these rods in. Head back to the car. <laughs> 